The first days after bringing home your puppy can be very challenging. In this video, I'll give some tips on how to get through these first few days. The moment is finally here. You get to take home your new puppy. But how to make sure your puppy feels safe and comfortable in this new and strange environment? When I get a new puppy, I will make sure that I have two weeks of vacation. This way, we'll have time to build a bond and lay the foundation on which we'll build our relationship. Before entering your home. Firstly, before entering your home, make sure to take a walk around the block. This way, your puppy have time to go potty and thus lessening the chance of having a first accident inside. Once inside. Once inside, provide your puppy with a puppy-proof environment. It's easier to assign a small area of your home to your puppy, one or two rooms for example. This way, he can't roam off without you noticing and by having a confined environment, he will be less likely to soil his own space. Friends and family. Take a few days to let your puppy acclimate to his new home. Though this period is very exciting for us, it's very stressful for a puppy. In one day, he has lost both his litter mates, his mom and his safe home. Introducing the crate. If you're going to use a crate for your dog, start introducing it the very first day. The sooner you commence this training, the sooner your dog will get comfortable inside the crate. At first, leave the crate open and just lure your puppy inside with a few treats. Reward him whenever he gets inside the crate. At this point, you shouldn't close the crate just yet. Just leave it open. When feeding your puppy, place the food inside the crate. This way, everything inside the crate will be safe, comfortable and pleasant. Remember to never use the crate as a means of punishment. You can use it as a timeout though, but you should always use it with the right and positive mindset. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button to stay tuned for next videos. Setting up a routine. It's easier for your puppy to act as you, like you want him to if he has a clear routine. This will also help you with house training your puppy, preparing him for when you go back to work and sleeping through the night, leash training. Teaching your puppy how to walk on leash is very important in this modern world. Dogs should be leash trained mostly for their own safety. A leash makes sure your puppy can't run off into the street because he saw a cat or something like that. The first training sessions. Keep your first training sessions short. A few minutes multiple times a day is better than sessions of one hour. It's hard for a puppy to stay focused for that long, so keep it brief and entertaining. Learning his name. When your puppy gets home, he has no clue about what you're going to name him. So, this will be one of the first things you will teach your dog. Start by calling out your puppy's name in a very exciting voice and rewarding him whenever he walks up to you. Leashing your dog in-house. Many of my customers get confused whenever I tell them I don't hesitate to put a leash on a dog inside of my home. I'll do this to make sure I can control whatever my dog is doing. This way, for example, when your dog is running away from you because they stole something, it's easier to get them back. You just grab the leash and lure them back towards you. It will also provide help when training the recall, which is one of the most important things you should teach your dog. The first walk. Similar to the first training sessions, keep your first walks from being long walks. I often go out for just a few minutes, multiple times a day. This also helps me to stay fully focused on my puppy when going on a walk. This way, I'll be able to teach them how I want them to walk next to me. By adding one minute to your walks every week, you give your puppy time to get accustomed to the way you walk. Feeding. When taking your puppy home, most breeders will provide you with some food they gave the puppies when growing up. You can either choose to keep feeding the same or change it up to some other brand you prefer. When switching to another brand, make sure to make it gradually. Mix it up over the course of a few meals so your puppy's stomach doesn't get upset. Up until the age of about 4 months, I will try feeding my puppy 3 times a day. After that, up until the age of about 1 year, 2 times a day. And after the age of 1 year, I will feed my puppy 1 time a day. Of course, feel free to feed your dog as often as you like. Sleep. Your puppy still needs lots of sleep to process everything he's learned. Since everything is still new for a puppy, his brain is constantly learning new things. Puppies that don't get enough sleep 
often get annoying and start biting, nipping or running around to shed their frustration. Make sure you provide your puppy with enough sleep time. A crate can help you in regulating your puppy's sleep pattern. By confining your puppy to a smaller and safer environment, he'll be able to fall asleep more easy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for next videos coming up.